there are three components to development of climate models. The first is the model itself, which is a computational model of the Earth's climate system based on the laws of physics. The second is information. Climate models require information about boundary conditions, that is, conditions describing the present state of the Earth, and a forcing, for example, a doubling of carbon dioxide. Third, climate models produce results which need, require analysis. This is an example of a climate model to give you a sense of everything that scientists must consider in the development of the model. The climate prediction is an estimate of the evolution of the atmosphere or the climate condition under constant boundary conditions and given a, a particular initial state. Climate models critically depend on boundary conditions. Remember, boundary conditions are um, values entered by the modeler. Boundary conditions provide a description of the state of the earth and could include things like ice cover or vegetation or the amount of solar radiation being received. To accurately model the earth's climate system, the earth's spheres need to be coupled in order to completely describe the climate system. We refer to uh, climate models that couple more than two components as an Earth systems model. The next several slides review some of the key points from Gavin Schmidt's video. These include the importance of scale and how climate models have evolved um, considerably in the last couple of decades. Review the slides to review what you learned in the video.